at daffodils yesterday, but I can't find her. Oh, hey. Hey, rabbit. Here I am. How are you? Well, I'm good. I'm kind of losing my head, but it's all good. All right, but what, what do you got going on here, Miss Gina? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some more that look just like you. So you can have some friends, okay? And we're going to teach everybody out there how to do this. So I'm going to put you right here. All right. And over here is our bread recipe that we're going to make today because, you know, you're made out of bread, Mr. Rabbit. And a shout out to my daughter-in-law, Emily Hill, for making my poster size recipe there. Okay. Let's come back over here. I'm going to grab my big bowl here. And I've already washed my hands because we know that's important, right? To wash our hands. Been there, done that. Okay, so back to our recipe. We have two cups of flour. Now, when you measure out flour, you scoop it into the container. You don't scoop your container in. That way it stays nice and fluffy and you get a good, true measurement. I learned that in 4-H, okay? So we're gonna put that in there, all right? And then the next thing it says is five tablespoons of sugar. Well, I know that five tablespoons is a third of a cup. So I already measured that out for you. Two teaspoons of salt. We're going to put that in there. And a package of yeast or a tablespoon. So we buy our yeast in a big bulk container. Looks like this. Okay. So we're going to use a tablespoon of it. Or one package if you can find it right now. There's that. But we'll talk about that later. All right. And then we need um, our warm water. So I have measured out two cups of warm water. You just get out of the spigot, you know, warm like it's um, like you're doing dish water. And then you need a, a fourth of a cup, four tablespoons it says, which is a fourth of a cup of oil. All right. We put all that in there. Take a little whip here. And we're going to get it nice and smooth. Get the bumps all out, okay? So while I'm stirring and mixing this up, I'm just going to tell you a few things. Um, first of all, my recipe over there is from when I was nine years old. 1969 was my first year in 4-H, and I took a bread project. Shout out to my mom for all that she taught me in 4-H. It was pretty amazing. Okay, now we're going to add, calls for two more cups of flour. So again, we're scooping it in here. All right. We're going to mix that in. We're going to switch to the spatula at this point, okay, because it's going to start getting thick. So, let me just come a little, see what's in there, okay. Again, we want to kind of get all of the lumps out. This is the longest part of making bread, for our video at least. Okay, now it says two more cups of flour, two to three. Actually, it's probably more like two, but you know, sometimes it depends on the flour you buy, how it's going to work for you. And you'll get used to that as you learn how to make bread. We're going to put a little bit in, okay? We're going to stir it. We want to stir it just enough so that we can pour it out on the, on the countertop, and we're going to knead it. Something that's called kneading, um, and I'll show you how to do that, but the reason we knead it is to develop the gluten in the bread, and that's what makes it kind of like elastic. So the yeast makes big bubbles, and the gluten helps it all stick together, and that's why we have fluffy bread, okay? And I know some people don't eat gluten, um, so that's why gluten-free bread is not quite as um, fluffy. It doesn't have what it needs to do that. Okay, so now we're gonna knead it. So I was kneading some bread earlier. I just covered up my mess there. We'll put that back there. You are going to want to put some flour on your surface here. All right. And then we're going to take that spatula and we're going to put it out here. All right. So put this over here. Now that looks like a big old mess, doesn't it? What you want to do is you want to learn how to use like the back of your hand here to push it around. You don't want to dig into it with your fingers. Huh? That's how everybody usually starts, like those that I've taught. And then you got a sticky mess all over your hands, but you'll figure it out. And you just keep working with it till you get a nice 
smooth product, okay? And we're not gonna take it all the way to the end today, but just, um, just gonna work with it. What happens is it gets real soft after a while and it gets real smooth looking. And then you will know when you have kneaded enough, if you go like that and your thing comes up real high, real quick. So that's got some more kneading to do. So we'll come back to that. Jerry and I'll come back to that later. We're gonna put that there. But what we have done is back here, we have one that I kneaded this morning, put in the bowl. And then what you have to do is you have to put it in your bowl and it has to double in size, okay? So that's, again, the yeast and the flour working together. So we know it's ready to work because watch that. It pokes in real nice, okay? And we're going to punch it down. That's a favorite part for the newbies at this. Punch it all down. Wait, scooch that over. We're gonna turn this out. So this is the same recipe where we took same ingredients over there. And so this recipe will actually make three loaves of bread or three bunnies for you. So we're gonna cut it into three. We'll put these over here. And I'm gonna show you how to make your bunny now. So I like to use parchment paper on my pans now. Okay, so we're gonna make sure it's not too sticky for you. And I find the easiest way to do this is first we're gonna pinch off a blob for his head. Remember, we gotta get all his parts out of here so we have a head, okay? Let's make a cup, let's make a body. Body's a little bit bigger than the head. I'm gonna steal some of this head here. I'm gonna put it right there. This is just kind of the quickie version and then we'll make him look pretty. We need two ears. So let's put those up there, see my, my dough's getting sticky, so you just add a little bit of flour. If you add too much flour, then your dough gets um, too thick. It doesn't raise real nice, okay? So there's our ears. Oh, he needs a nose, right? So we're gonna save this little piece here for his nose. Now he needs two feet and two hands. So how about if I do this? We'll just split this all evenly here. Okay, feet, feet. Hands, hands. Now I got just a little piece left. I'm going to give that to his belly. Now watch this. Now see how I just kind of put everything to the center here? And don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. He will look really nice when you get done. So there's the belly or the body. I got some feet to go on him. Again, you just round it in. And for rabbit feet, I kind of pull them out a little bit. Make you look like Thumper, right? Okay. So you can make anything out of bread that's quite plain with Play-Doh, okay? Um, we have made, I made a unicorn with Maddie the other day. Alrighty. And now we got some hands going on here. So what would be something that you all might like to make? Shout out. Oh, did I hear a teddy bear? Well, that'd be awesome, teddy bear. How about a sunflower? Yeah, we're thinking about all the pretty flowers out there right now. You can make a sunflower. Got to be creative. It's all about art, right? Arts and everything. That's what Mrs. Hill and I talk about. My daughter-in-law, who's the art teacher, art is just in everything. Okay, he's looking kind of like, like that guy over there, isn't he? Now we're going to make these ears kind of long. Stick them under there. That's what truly makes you, oh, we've, well, don't lose track here. Here's his other ear. We forgot his nose. We're gonna have to swipe a piece here for his nose. And that's just a little ball we're gonna put on there. Okay, there's his nose. Now, he needs a belly button and he needs some eyes. So let me get my raisins. I have found that for the eyes to stick, if you can tear a raisin in half, and then push it in there. And don't be afraid to push it all the way down, okay? Because it will pop up. If you push it all the way down, then when you bake it, it'll still be stuck on there, okay? And then his belly button. Just gonna put that right in there. All right. And then what's gonna happen is you let him raise. Um, 
It depends on how warm your house is, how quick it raises, but when he starts getting puffy in that, go ahead and stick it in the oven, okay? You don't want it to get so big that it, it kind of loses its shape. But let him get about double, or not quite double, and then pop it in the oven at 350. He will take probably about 18 minutes to bake, okay? And I'll just show you, we had this, um, remember? We had three pieces from our bread. So we're gonna make the other ones in to a loaf of bread. Wouldn't that be fun to share a loaf of bread with somebody in your family? So I like to take the coconut oil and grease my pans. That works really good, okay? And then you're just gonna take this piece and just kind of tuck it in and pinch it. And there you go, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna be beautiful when you get done with it. I know that, all right? So um, one thing I wanted to mention is I was told that somebody can't find yeast right now, so no worries. We have lots of yeast for you. Jerry went and got me another big pack. So if you need yeast, message us, on, message me on Facebook, and we will get that to you. And then the other thing is I'm offering 10 loaves of fro frozen bread dough to somebody who might just want the dough and doesn't want to make go through all this process. So I'm freezing some bread dough up. So um, again, um, just let us know through message and we will get that to you. You gotta live close though, right? Okay, Wednesday I'll run around and I'll do all my deliveries with all of you, okay? So I just want to say, have fun with this. Be sure and ask me questions if you have any questions and it's gonna turn out just perfect for you, all right? So Mr. Bunny says, Thanks for joining us and have a good day and have a happy and blessed Easter, everybody. We love you. Bye-bye.